Hey everyone, I'm Asia Dang, and thank you for tuning in to my channel. If you noticed by the title of this video, we are doing a skincare root, not routine, skincare video. So we're talking about gua sha versus jade rolling. You guys have seen me use this on Instagram stories and Snapchat and have been wanting to learn more about it. So I decided to do this video because while they may seem pretty similar to me. They're actually very different in terms of how I use it and what it actually does for your skin. So enough chit chatting by me, let's get to it. So I'm gonna start with the Jade tool just because I feel like you guys already know a lot about it because it is super trendy right now. As it is in the name, the Jade Roller is made out of Jade. Jade as a stone is believed to heal and purify your energy field. And I know a lot of people might think that's kind of like a little frou-frou and cuckoo, but that's why Jade is important to a lot of people and it's really special in the Chinese culture. But in terms of this tool and what it does for your skin, it's meant to give you a beautiful glow, purify your skin, depuff, which is how I use it, and improves skin elasticity. So you have two sides. You have the small side, which I use actually mostly for under eye, on top of the eye, and maybe around the nose. And then here's the larger part, which you can use in other places around your face. So what I do is, you guys know, I have a little section in my fridge for my face masks, but I put my jade roller in the freezer. Having this jade be really cool is actually such a beautiful feeling on your skin and it really rejuvenates everything. And especially when you're working on your under eye circle area, you really need that coolness to help depuff and relax those muscles. And my favorite ways of using the jade roller is one, to kind of depuff the under eye circles that you may sometimes get. And then the second way is I actually love to use this over a sheet mask. And basically I just use it to help soak in all that essence goodiness into your skin. How I do it is I start at the neck and then I move up to my face. So I go on the jawline again. Everything, every motion you do with these tools is going to be upward and outward. So three to five swipes on your chin and just move all the way up to your forehead. And then you can switch between the large roller and the small roller depending on what part of the face you want to use it in. So I like to do this for about two minutes with my sheet mask on. And then once I feel like my skin really soaks in, I just let it, leave it on my, my face for the rest of the time. And then when I take it off, I really, really do feel like my skin has just really soaked up that essence in the sheet mask. And that is specifically why I like to use the Jade Roller. While this is a facial gua sha tool, there are tools for gua sha tools that you can use on your larger muscles. And um, that's what my acupuncturist does. So gua sha body-wise is used to complement, sorry, is used to complement like uh, acupuncture and cupping. So facial gua sha um, is a treatment that involves kind of the scraping or pulling of a flat stone. This is jade. It's a treatment that's meant to relieve pain and stiffness and kind of flush out the tissue. It's meant to fix dryness, breakouts even, and aging. And by the way, when I say scraping and pulling, it actually doesn't, it's not as aggressive as it sounds. You use a very, very light touch. And because this is like stone, you don't really need to put much pressure onto it. But as you can see, this is more of like a pulling and scraping motion, whereas this is a rolling motion. So it sounds a little bit more harsh and intimidating than it's actually meant to. I like to do this post serum. I feel like it helps to seep that serum into my skin and I think that's really important. You can do it at the serum step, you can also do it at the moisturizer step or you can do it both. How I do it since there are different curves in this particular facial gua sha tool, I take the larger tool and go up my neck and go up my neck 10 times each section. And then I switch over to this more curved section and go on my chin always moving upwards 10 times, and then kind of right where that cheekbone is because it fits perfectly. 
And then I go move towards this section, which is curved outward versus curved inward, and do it on my cheek. And then do it right under my eye, starting from my nose. Then I go back to the section I started off with my neck and do it from my nose up to my forehead, do those sections 10 times, and then I go outward on my forehead 10 times. You start from your neck down because you wanna get all that drainage moving on the bottom so when you move up towards your forehead it doesn't just get stuck it flows through your body you know what I'm saying so if you were to start on your forehead everything that you're releasing would have nowhere to go so after I use my gua sha tool my skin really does feel lifted and tighter and any puffiness around my face is gone and this weekend I went to visit my mom in San Diego and she used this and she absolutely loved it so in conclusion obviously by the way I speak about my facial gua sha tool I really do like my gua sha tool as an everyday use thing I feel like if you really are trying to improve your skin this is a better tool to go with than the jade roller I mean the jade roller it's 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 very trendy right now even though it's been around for like centuries but as you can see it's just really pretty it's very Instagrammable but um, I definitely wouldn't trust this to completely transform my skin. I will continue to use this to depuff my eyes and use it on top of a sheet mask after I exfoliate, but I don't actually see feel like I would see any real results out of the jade roller just because it's really delicate like it feels great it's really relaxing i will use it for depuffing if i've had a rough morning but um in terms of anti-aging and helping out with acne and really kind of cleansing out my skin i will always stick with my facial gua sha tool it's that gentle pull that helps relief all the junk in your skin that just gives you amazing health and skin benefits plus I have neck and back issues so I can just use this and get those knots out which is an added bonus that's just my opinion if you are someone who loves jade rolling you know it's still really beneficial and if you want to ease into gua sha this might be a good tool to start with. Please let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful, if you are a jade roller or a gua sha tool person and what your thoughts about it are. And of course, if you have any suggestions as to other videos you would love for me to do, please let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm Asia Dane. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.